As part of this tutorial, we will be discussing about text mining and the use of clustering when it comes to text mining. This representation that you see here is called as a word cloud. And towards the end of this logical concept, you would be able to generate a similar kind of word cloud on R. We'll be using R to generate a similar kind of word cloud. And I've also included a case study, or rather two case studies, which would explain about the application of text mining. And all of those two, one concept would explain about the application of clustering when it comes to text mining. Of course, we also have to discuss about natural language processing which is a step ahead of your text mining. And we'll be discussing about natural language processing probably in the next tutorial after this. So let us get started. Why do we have this text mining? What is the logic? What is the rationale? If you see here, 20% of the data is structured and 80% of the data which is getting generated in the current world is unstructured. And out of this unstructured data, majority of the data is textual in format. Of course, video is fast catching up. The amount of unstructured data through video is fast catching the attention of the world. However, we will restrict to un uh, unstructured data, which is textual in format. Your call transcripts, if you call a call center, you would receive a or you would hear a message up front which says your call would be recorded for quality purpose. So what normally happens is these calls are translated to call transcripts, which is textual in format. And they're going to look at your call transcripts and make sense out of that on how many mistakes are there which are grammatical in nature, so on and so forth. Emails that you send to customer service, those are textual in format. Social media outreach, Facebook comments, Twitter tweets, Google Plus, so on and so forth, it generates a lot of textual data. Speech transcripts is textual in data. Your field agents and the salespeople capture a lot of data which is textual in format once again. And the most important thing from data collection perspective is interviews and surveys. Right, you, we, we do a lot of interviews, we connect a lot of surveys in the hope of collecting data. Now all this is textual in format. How do we analyze this data? That is the crux of text mining. Let us now understand bag of words representation, which is extremely related to your text mining. What happens even before text mining happens, right? So if you look at this, here is a package from Shakespeare's, uh, one of his plays, one of his writings. An English professor would say, wow, such a nice, uh, scripture, right? Such a nice English literature. That is what your English professor would say. All the world's a stage and all the men and women mainly players. They have their exits and their entrances. And one man in his time plays many parts. This is what Shakespeare has written. An English professor would go on and on explaining about these three lines for hours together. But for a statistician, they would Look at this passage in this way. A statistician would say, no matter who has written this, the world is used once, stage is used once, the word men is used once or twice rather, women is used once, play is used twice, exit is used once, entrance and time are used. If you're wondering on what has happened to this word all or the 
whenever you do any analysis you'd be interested in specific words which are very relevant right all the a apostrophe comma and all these are used in almost all the literature and these words do not make any sense hence we will exclude that and only we are going to consider the, the key terms also if you notice here men is used twice it's not men and women because women is also used once men is used twice in the sense we have men here and we have man here this is singular this is plural but both mean the same both are referring to some gender both mean the same hence you have only one word which is men and we have two against that play if you look at this we have players and we have please now for these two words the stem word is play what does that mean if you have the word play you can add a lot of extensions to this such as play if I add ed it will become played if I add ers it will become players if you just add an s it's called as please so on and so forth exit this word is used once entrance is used once time is used once so on and so forth and this kind of a representation is called as bag of words representation 